29 forecast. Becoming unseasonably warm, followed by a strong cold front. That's the next big thing I'm tracking from the Weather Center. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 Meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. A very small chance for a passing shower at daybreak tomorrow, but a better chance of rain with the actual cold front later Thursday into Friday morning. Looking outside live from the top of Wintergreen Resort, the ice that we had on Sunday has now completely melted away. We've had above freezing temperatures for the most part since yesterday. We briefly went below freezing early this morning, but now we're watching some hazy blue skies up above and those high level cirrus clouds are in association with a weak weather disturbance well to our west. Right now numbers are warming. It's already 10 degrees warmer than average for this time of the year. Here at midday, it's pushing 60 degrees in Charlottesville. It is in the low 60s into Buckingham County at Dillowin. 57 right now at Madison and Culpeper down into Orange and Louisa. Mid 50s currently at Harrisonburg and Stanton. Dry skies scans will continue through at least this evening on our live Doppler radar network. But look at this conveyor belt of rain. It stretches all the way from the Gulf of Mexico, basically all the way up into Minnesota, Minneapolis and St. Paul, the land of 10,000 lakes up this way. So that's a sign of that push of mild air, basically all the way to the US and Canadian border. However, as the system begins to move off to the east, it'll run into a lot of dry air. So what will happen? This system will basically fall apart as it crosses the Appalachians. That's exactly what our high res weather tracker is showing some active weather through this evening across the Mississippi Valley. But then by late tonight, the clouds fill in. Here's daybreak on Wednesday, five, six, seven in the morning, maybe a passing sprinkle or a shower from the Blue Ridge and the Shenandoah Valley. Little to no rain will make it east of the Blue Ridge. So expect a break of sunshine for Wednesday afternoon with a gusty southwest wind, giving us a boost into the lower 70s Wednesday afternoon. Now the severe weather risk on Thursday with a stronger cold front will be across the southern Great Lakes all the way down to the deep south and the Gulf Coast. And that system is heading our way in pieces on Thursday into Friday. So here's Thursday morning. The most active weather is to the west. We're not expecting severe weather here at home, but we will have the rain showers off and on rain on Thursday. Thursday night and here's Friday morning. Temperatures will, will actually begin to drop Friday afternoon once that front passes by. Cold enough for snow back west toward the Alleghenies, but not here. It'll be dry with a warming trend for Presence Day weekend, especially by next Sunday and Monday. So much warmer than average in the 60s, if not the lower 70s, right through Wednesday and Thursday before we chill back down. Your forecast for today, Valentine's Day, mild with highs in the low 60s for most communities with a south breeze. Overnight staying above freezing, frost not an issue. Lows of 45 to 50 as the clouds begin to increase. And for Wednesday, upper 60s, mostly low 70s, a gusty southwest wind under a partly sunny sky. Here's your seven day forecast. Upper 60s, near 70 on Thursday with showers. The rain begins to exit Friday morning, a half inch to an inch, possibly an inch and a half of rainfall with this system. And it will turn cooler Friday afternoon into Saturday morning below freezing. And then low 50s on Saturday, more seasonable. 60 on Sunday and mid 60s by Presence Day on Monday. Jared.